Hi, a few people asked for a video walkthrough of this tool for importing 3D meshes from Google Maps to Blender because the, um, the process is not so straightforward. Um, before starting, I just want to recall that this was published um, for a blog post that explains more in detail all the process um, involved in, in getting uh, WebGL data. And there is a section in the in the second part that details what we're doing here. Um, so the first thing you need is Blender and uh, the add-on is made for Blender 2.80. So you have to download the beta. Then you need also a tool called RenderDuck. RenderDuck is a GPU debugging tool. So it is not intended to, to be used for the kind of hacking we're doing as a side effect of being a good debugging tool, it gives us access to all the information we need. And the last tool you need is Google Chrome. And you couldn't make it work with Firefox, unfortunately. And, and you need to add uh, some special flags that I put in the description to the, to the shortcut here. Um, and uh, of course you need the the add-on, the release of the add-on. You don't have to unzip it. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is to start RenderDuck. In RenderDuck, we're using the file inject into process feature, which is not available under Linux. Sorry for that. And here we're looking for the Chrome process. And there's no Chrome process yet. But we're going to start one, so start Google Chrome. And before starting, it opens a little pop-up with the GPU process here. So we refresh here and we look for this process with Google Chrome GPU in the title. And we inject into that process. Now we press um, OK on the pop-ups. And to check that the process is injected, we have to check that we have this little overlay here. And also that in RenderDuck it says something in front of API. Here it's OpenGLES. It must be something has done none. Now we're ready to take our capture. So just um, browse Google Maps to the location of your choice. So here, for instance, I'm in, I'm in Nantes and I want to capture of this bridge. So I will take a capture with the print screen key, but you also have to take care of moving at the same time. It's really important to move the 3D view at the same time as you are taking the capture, because if you're not moving, the browser will not uh, refresh the 3D view, and so the capture will not contain 3D information. So move, move around and at the same time press print screen. It hangs a bit and then says one capture saved. And if you go back to render duck, you will see your new capture here. Double click on it to open. We're just going to make a quick check that there is indeed 3D data. So in the texture view here and output tab, um, we're going to browse the rendering events and see that there is a 3D process involved. So it's fine. This capture is good. We save it. Save capture, um, uh, save to the desktop, call it nodes.rdc. And now we can kit render duck and Chrome. We have our capture file, we can open Blender. In Blender, edit preferences, we install the, the add on. So install, stop, just give it the zip file, install from file. And don't forget to enable it here. Now this add-on adds a entry in import menu here, Google Maps Capture. I'm just gonna clean this in before. Uh, import Google Maps Capture, and we're gonna look for our file, RDC file. Import. Um, I I let. Uh, max block to 200 it means that it will not load more than 200 blocks from the from the capture but if you want the full capture you can of course increase it 
So here we are, we have our 3D from Google Maps and we can enable the texture view and we have everything. So the textures by default are located in a, in a folder um, created next to the RDC file that if you want, you may be interested in the file external data pack all into dot blend uh, function of Blender that will actually embed all the PNG files into the blend file so that you can uh, share it more easily. And, and here you are. So I hope you'll be able to reproduce this. If you run into some trouble, feel free to contact me on, on Twitter. And if you succeed, I'd be really interested to see what cool things you're, you're able to do with it. So also feel free to share. Thank you.